What is happening, my peoples? Today, we're gonna show you how to custom paint a baby bass color crankbait. Uh, I gotta give a shout out real quick to lure me in custom painting crankbaits. Um, I got this color pattern from him. Uh, dude makes really good videos. Make sure you guys check out his channel. Anyways, we're gonna jump right into it. The first thing you're gonna do is tape off your bill because you don't wanna get any paint on that. And then you're just gonna hit your lure with a white base coat. Um, make sure you get it all even. Spray, spray the whole entire lure white. And I don't have a heat gun, <laughs> as you can see. Um, so what I've been using, luckily it's cold. So I've been using my fireplace uh, to uh, basically just, uh, not to heat the lure, but to uh, dry dry the paint so I can hit it with the next color, color paint. So after the white, you're gonna grab you some of this yellow here. Mix it up pretty good. Um, what you wanna do with, with this paint, this is that uh, Crytex, Crytex, I always say it wrong. Uh, you got to mix a little bit of the high performance, um, uh, the high performance uh, reducer in there, uh, so you can thin out your paint a little bit, so it can spray a little bit better. I do not, I do not measure my my reducer. I just kind of pour it in there and eyeball it, just shake it up, and then I go to work. You know what I mean? I I don't make this difficult at all. Like I said, man, it, this is fun. This is fun for me. I'm not making money off of this. So it ain't no big deal. I just mix how I want to. Now this part with the yellow, all you're gonna do is spray the back and you're gonna spray the sides just a little bit. You want it to kind of fade a little bit off the sides, but I mean, you're gonna spray a good amount of paint here. Uh, like I said, get all the way on the sides, all the way around the back, um, cause we're gonna blend this uh, with, with some green here in a moment. And of course, throw it back on the heater. Make sure you get that paint dry before you jump onto the next paint. Now we're just gonna grab a little bit of green and, and don't get crazy with the colors, man. People people freak out, oh, I need this specific color. Just grab you some green, man. Throw it in the gun and get to work. That's how I do. So I'll grab a little green here. Now this time, you're gonna spray over. Now I suggest using a transparent green. This one is not a transparent green, but it, it'll still work if, you, if you're really light, um, if you're really light with your, with your, uh, with your uh, airbrush. Basically what you're gonna do is wanna hit the top pretty good. You wanna get some more on the sides, but you want a little bit of that yellow to show through. Not a whole lot, but you want a little bit. And that's why I say the transparent is better, especially for somebody that's uh, that's new to this. I definitely need to be using transparent because I am not that good uh, with the airbrush yet. You see, it takes me forever because I'm I'm just using just a little bit of, just a little bit of a, a paint coming through. Um, it's more air than anything. Dry that off. Uh, once again, hit it on the heater. You know what I mean? If you don't have a uh, airbrush, I mean, if you don't have a heat gun. All right, now this is a, I don't have a darker green, so I wanted a darker green. So all I did there was, I took that green I just used and I added some black to it. I think I ended up putting three drops of black uh, and then mixed it in, I got a darker green. Now this, what you see this little this little tool I have here is a, uh, it's actually a loofah. It's a loofah that I ripped up, a brand new loofah. It's not a used one. And I just put that over the top of it, clipped it down with some beautiful glitter clips because that's all I had in the crib. That's my wife's clips there. Um, and this is going to give it the scale pattern on top. Now, this one you don't want to do. You don't want to go all the way down because, remember, you're blending your color. So this one you're going to do more of the top and a little bit of the sides so you can get that scale pattern that you want. Um, always dry it while you still have your... Um, whatever whatever tool that you're using. Uh, if you have it wrapped around it, I always dry it off first before I go to the next one. I haven't been doing this long, you know, don't get me wrong. I'm just telling you what works for me. And as you can see, that came out pretty freaking smooth. Not gonna lie, I was digging this lure. Uh, as of right here, I'm like, man, I'm done. I can throw the eyes on this joker, but we still got a little bit more work to do. Now what I'm doing is I'm just mixing a little bit of black. I got the green out of there. This is just straight black. And uh, I'm going to put that line on the back of the bass uh, right here and a, a tiny bit uh, down the sides just so you can get that, you know, that high top fade, that that blend, you know, blend directly into the into the lure. Uh, this is one of my favorite parts is throwing that black on because, you know, you you basically done after this. Um, you're going to hit a little bit of the eyes, too. Uh, you're not going to just, you know, just kind of circle around when you're doing the eyes just to get a little bit of that, like, you know, a little bit of shadiness. And as you can see there, the back is, is pretty good. It's blending really well. Now, this is something that I do personally uh, to put my, um, 
put my lateral line in with the for the bass then you can you can make a stencil if you want to but what I did was just took a cheap brush dipped it in some paint and dabbed it as you can see I dabbed it on that uh that paper towel there and then I just start barely touching touching the lure and that's how I get that lateral line uh, effect there and it, it actually comes out really good uh, you don't have to make a pattern for that of course you know the gill you got to throw a little bit of red in there um, I'm just using a hand brush for this that is not the right brush to use that brush is horrible but it still works it does the job you know throw the eyes in uh, really quickly on both sides uh, this spro lure that I ordered it came with the eyes so I didn't have to order the eyes it came with it now I don't have the the correct epoxy but I did have some of this uh, gorilla glue I mean gorilla epoxy which works perfectly fine just get you a I think you have to mix it for like 20 30 seconds uh, put it in a little cup or something and then all you're gonna do is just paint that epoxy on that's gonna make it hard uh, to where your lure you know will uh, won't be damaged and uh, your paint won't won't wear out in the water boom that is it right there ladies and gentlemen the belly I, all I did was spray the belly with the white base coat um, next time I think I'll probably use like a pearl for the belly just because I think it looks a little bit better but the white came out just fine man this right here what you're seeing is on like a rotisserie um, basically it's it's just made to spin the well it's not made to to spin a lure around it's made to spin meat around on your barbecue on your grill on your barbecue grill um, but a lot of people use it just for this same reason I'm using it for uh, basically it just spins your lure around after you put the epoxy on it so the epoxy doesn't get a uh, it doesn't pull on one side you know you don't have a you know it, it all makes it even basically let me let me quit rambling here it just makes everything even on the lure because it's spinning around but basically that is it ladies and gentlemen pretty easy pattern it come out pretty good I, I really dig it um, if you have any questions about it let me know hit me up other than that I hope you guys enjoy the video until next time I got things I gotta do I'ma holla at y'all. Peace out, baby.